and welcome to Satsuma Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, remove a standard presser foot or sewing foot and replace with a zipper foot that allows us to sew very closely to a zipper when we're attaching to fabric. And in addition, I'll show you how to insert a zipper uh, into two pieces of fabric with ease. The first thing we do is turn off our sewing machine when we're looking to change out our presser feet. I'm going to raise the presser bar and uh, in this case, I've gone ahead and loosened this thumb screw or the screw that um, tightens our presser foot to our presser bar. I'm just going to, I did a little prep work. So I'm using a standard uh, screwdriver and I'm turning to the left. And if you'll recall, lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. So I'm loosening it by turning to the left. I'm going to remove my sewing foot. And just an indication, uh, this is a finger guide and gate just for safety. This can be removed, but here at the Satsuma Designs Workshop, we leave it on, safety first, and I'm gonna set that aside. Next, I'll take my zipper foot. You can see this little cutout curve here. This is where the needle uh, runs through the foot and into the fabric. So we are going to simply angle this a little bit and put it onto the presser bar. I'm gonna lower the presser bar. That just gives us a little more stability when we are turning our thumb screw back to the right to tighten. And you can see I loosened it quite a bit, so I'll go ahead and I'll need to tighten it quite a bit as well. And I'm gonna be checking my work. So I'm getting a little bit of tension there. That's looking good. I test it with my hand. I'm gonna lift the presser bar as well and just double check. Okay, terrific. We're ready to go. I'm setting my presser foot aside and I'm going to put my screwdriver in my tool drawer. Next, I'll turn on my machine and I've double checked that all of my thread is uh, properly through my guides and we're ready to go. Now, when we're inserting a zipper, I have my two pieces of fabric right side up or face side up. And um, for simplicity, I'm just going to turn over my zipper. I'm going to uh, place right sides together and I'm just gonna use a little sewing clip. Now you can see that with my zipper foot and sewing along the edge, you can kind of see a different um, pattern in the zipper fabric here. There's kind of the selvage edge, then uh, a flat uh, line, then the zipper itself, another flat line and selvage. Use that uh, flat line as your guide when you're sewing and you will, uh, which will result in a beautiful looking um, joining of your zipper to your fabric. So you can note that when that seam is here on my left side, when I turn the zipper out, it will be nice and clean. So let's go ahead and sew this. Um, in general, you're going to be sewing to the bottom of the tape and um, we'll go ahead and lift our sewing foot. I'm going to drop it. Um, we're using about a, uh, about a 3 8 seam allowance here. Um, but again, you can use your zipper guide, um, that flat section as your guide. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my hand wheel to sink my needle. I am then going to sew forward and back tack. So a couple stitches forward, a couple back, and here we go. As I approach my clip, I can just simply remove it, or if I were using pins, which we don't typically in industrial sewing, but I'm going ahead, I'm using that guide. And when I approach the pull of my zipper, one thing I like to do is push it back past my sewing foot. Um, it might take a little muscling, but you're likely to be able to do that with, with some ease. I'll continue to sew and I'll come to the end of the tape and um, I'll go ahead and finish that. Well, that wasn't too pretty. I should have hand done it. But you can see how nicely that attaches. So let's go ahead and give you an instruction on attaching the other side. So again, if we were to look at this right sides up, we would have our fabric, our zipper, 
and our other piece of fabric. So we simply put right sides together here again and we'll use our clip. I'm just going to align the edges. We can easily do this by hand as well. I just wanna show you how we would clip. So we're gonna be starting at the other end. I'm gonna open this uh, zipper pull just a touch here and uh, we'll go ahead and start. So I'm uh, dropping my presser foot with my pedal. I'm sinking my needle. I'm gonna go ahead, stitch forward, backward to sink it. And here it looks like nothing, it, uh, the pull isn't giving me any trouble. So I'm just gonna sew right past it and I'm still in that well as indicated by the zipper tape. Okay, and here we go. All right, I'm gonna back tack here instead of using my automatic function and then uh, here we go. Okay, folks, we have inserted a zipper. You can see it's nice and clean. We could go ahead and top stitch, whatever our operations called for. And um, I will tell you too, I would say the main uh, item to be aware of is face side to face side. It can be a little confusing at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's gonna be wonderful. You know what, since we're here, let's go ahead. We're gonna use our zipper foot. Um, we would typically revert back to our standard sewing foot, but let's go ahead and we're gonna edge stitch. So I'm gonna drop my needle and my sewing foot, and I'm just gonna use this edge here as my guide. So let's sink that seam and we are under sewing as well because we're sewing our seam allowance to our fabric. Okay, and that's a nice finish. Let's do the other side. Drop our sewing foot and sink our needle. And I'm using both hands. I'm going, uh, I would say quickly and efficiently, but I'm not rushing. Okay, and there you have it. So if you were creating a fun little pouch or um, what have you, inserting a zipper on a garment, you would sew around, leave this open, turn it out, and you'd be good to go. If it was lying, that is. Okay, that is changing a sewing foot and zipper foot and inserting a zipper. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.